So there is this new RFC and it's actually already been accepted for PHP 8.4. And I want to take a look at it today because, you know, it's such a small change, but it will make a pretty big difference uh, in my projects, but in so many other people's code base as well. Uh, it's about removing these two brackets here. When you create a new object and you want to chain a method on it, this RFC allows you to omit these two brackets. And like I said, it, it seems such a small change, but it's gonna make such a huge impact. So let's, uh, let's take a moment to read through the RFC and see what it's about, right? So uh, the new my class method without parentheses RFC. Um, so the class member access on instantiation feature, that's a mouthful, was introduced in PHP 5.4. I actually didn't know that. I, I started using PHP in 5.4. And so apparently this was like a new thing in 5.4. I never re realized that I just used it, assuming it was always a part of PHP. Since then, constants and properties uh, and methods can be accessed on newly created instances without any intermediate variable, but only if the new expression is wrapped in parentheses. So like this. The goal of this RFC is to enable this syntax to, and then it lists a couple of, of advantages, to make coding with PHP more convenient and satisfy many users' requests for this feature. Yeah, quite a lot of people have been asking about it over the years. To also increase the visual depth in all sorts of builders and configurators. And this is an interesting one. It like shows how many PHP files on GitHub use this syntax. And it's quite a lot, like 627k matches here. That's, that's huge. And all of that code could potentially be refactored to use less brackets. So that's really nice. And uh, the third advantage here is to ease switching between other C-like languages that don't require parentheses. That's a fancy way of saying that there are other languages that, that already support this syntax. So let's look at the proposal. This RFC allows to omit parentheses around the new expression with constructor argument parentheses. And that's a pretty important one. And I think the RFC will explain it later. Um, so, so we'll come back to that. So this syntax, all of these things can be called without parentheses on a new instance of a class. And this is the important thing here. You need these two brackets um, and the RFC will explain why. And that's what it means with, with the constructor argument parentheses here, right? Um, so here are a couple of examples of things that are possible. So constants, static properties, methods, normal properties, normal methods. You can even call invocable classes with this syntax. I don't know if I really like this approach here. It's It might be a bit confusing, but if it's one of these things that you probably get used to over time. But yeah, right now this feels a bit, a bit strange. Um, over here, this is... A, an instance of my class, but it actually extends, I think, array aggregate or something like that. Um, so it actually represents an array and it has access to, you know, uh, it implements offset get and offset set. So you can all also uh, use this syntax with array access. Um, you can use it with dynamic class names as well. So in this case, new dollar my class is actually uh, the name of, of this class over here. So it works there as well. It even works with like trim functions, I think, although they need to be wrapped in brackets, but that's to like group the, the output of the trim function here into a variable, I guess. I, I don't know if you would often do this, probably in some cases, um, but yeah, these, these are more of the edge cases, right? This is this is the big deal and it's gonna be really valuable, especially especially for me, these two, I think. I don't think I often call static properties and methods on class instances. And the invoke, I, this, I write this kind of code quite a lot actually when I apply the action pattern. But yeah, 
I'm not sure if I like it. It's might be something I need to get used to. So the, this RFC does not, not change the behavior of new expressions without constructor arguments, parentheses. And so that's important because let's see here, let's, let's read a bit further. This RFC allows to omit parentheses around the new anonymous class expression, regardless of whether constructor argument parentheses are present or not. Oh yeah, so when you have the new um, anonymous class syntax, like over here, uh, it works without constructor um, parentheses because constructor parentheses with anonymous classes are written over here between the new class and the opening bracket. And the chaining on top of that class happens after the closing curly bracket here. So there's never any inconsistencies. And that's what, what this part of the RFC talks about. At first glance, new my class method expression might seem ambiguous, but according to the same logic, new my class is also ambiguous. Is it new and then my class or new my class? And the thing is here, I, when I first read this, I was a bit confused about what this paragraph is trying to say, but over here, new my class with brackets, my class with brackets could also be a function name. And that's an um, ambiguity that the PHP parser has to deal with. However, what this paragraph is saying is that PHP is already dealing with this ambiguity even before this RFC because uh, like we could already write this, um, let's see, the bracket should be here, I guess, but we could all, that there already is an ambiguity here and PHP is already making a decision here regardless of this RFC. But what this paragraph, this section is saying basically is that we need these two constructor uh, brackets in order to properly determine whether we can, whether this is like a, a new class instantiation or whether it's a function call or, you know, uh, in order to chain things on top of it without having to wrap the whole new expression within brackets. So uh, this is, it's, it's, I, I read a couple of times through, through these paragraphs. Um, you can do so as well. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the RFC, but the, the important part here is that we need constructor brackets basically in order for this syntax to work. And that means you also need constructor brackets, even if you don't have constructor arguments. So that's, that's kind of like a small, um, annoying part of this RFC, but, uh, I think it's, it's like the edge case. And I prefer to have this syntax with a, with a small edge case in place still, um, instead of not having it at all, right? And the RFC also lists some other syntax ideas, um, which were expressed during the discussion, um, but they are on, orthogonal to this proposal and require a separate RFC, but let's go through them, right? Um, some additional ideas that, that could build on top of this RFC. So allow to omit the new keyword. That's interesting. A language like Kotlin allows to instantiate classes via my class expressions. Omitting the new keyword in PHP is currently not possible, you know, because classes and function can have the same name, which in Kotlin isn't possible. So, and here we are back in the land of ambiguities, right? Um, in order to achieve this in PHP, we would first deprecate, we should first deprecate declaring functions and classes with the same names. And I think that's a pretty big breaking change. Uh, I think it's like such a big breaking change is not worth the uh, the benefits that like a, a potential uh, omitting of, of the new keyword would would uh, give us. So yeah, I don't think that's something which we should like chase in the future. Uh, the second one, uh, interesting. So a built-in uh, a dedicated static constructor like my class new or my class create. And I have written so much of these static constructors in the past. I kind of switched actually to not using them anymore and just using like the, um, uh, the wrapping embraces right before this RFC. And the reason for that is that you, you just end up with such, uh, so much duplicated code, especially if you're, if, if you're dealing with big constructors, you have to duplicate that data into the static constructor. You can use um, 
a very very a very static static constructor but then, then you lose out on static analysis you don't have as many insights anymore as to what input this class actually takes so i kind of moved away from static constructors by now but having them built into php and if they would just call the the norm the normal constructor and and this just being a uh, like syntactic sugar on top of uh, calling a normal constructor uh, that might be interesting although now that we don't need the wrapping braces anymore it might be less valuable so um, it would also be a backward compatibility break for already existing static or object methods exactly named new or create which required parameters or different return types so this idea requires some deprecations and because of that uh, and the fact that this rfc has been accepted i don't think that this has that much value anymore compared to before this RFC, basically. Now, with this RFC, there are no backward compatible changes. That's nice. It's going to be added in PHP 8.4 because there were, let's check here, 25 people voted yes and four voted no. So yeah, that's the uh, a small change in PHP 8.4, but it's going to be pretty big. I also wanted to read real quickly through the comments here. This is my comment and it didn't get any upvotes, but oh, by the way, if you don't know, this is RFC vote. This is like a community platform where all PHP developers can come together and leave their votes and arguments for a specific RFC. These, these votes aren't used to, um, to like determine any real things happening in PHP, but it gives an indication of how some people in the community think about it. And when I read through these, there are there are also always like very small arguments here. But the, the the two most upvoted arguments are in favor and talk about well exactly what I've been talking about. Often I add static methods to some classes in order to improve readability. Exactly when I instantiate a new class, the ability of chaining methods directly to the constructor without the unnecessary parentheses boilerplate would remove the need for that. Yeah. Uh, I totally agree with that. And then every time, this is Roman uh, sharing his argument, every time I find myself typing new my class and then returning back to adding those parentheses, this is something I feel as well. You have to, you write new my class and then you're like, oh, hang on a second. I wanted to change something on this. Let me wrap that part in brackets. It's, uh, it's just so much overhead. It becomes annoying and it's good to reduce this friction and just make PHP code more smoother, as Roman put. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's this RFC. I'm looking forward to PHP 8.4. This is a small change, but it's a good change. And it's going to you know, have a, a big practical impact, basically. And it's nice to see these kinds of things being added in PHP. So if you uh, want to get more updates about PHP 8.4, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.